Hey, what is up, guys? It's Robert, aka RJ, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 2021 20 on um, season let's play. Welcome to day number two of the Pocono Double Headers. So we're back. Um, if you did see yesterday's race, be sure to tune in that before you tune in to this race. Yesterday's race was a lot of fun. Um, we had some early on action of some crashes, but I was up towards the front, um, pitted once again under a caution, and I lost spots. So I had to fight my way up towards the front at the end, and I finished second. It was a good race at the end. Me and William Byron definitely battled hard, but at the end of the day, William Byron had the better car, and he took the checkered flag. So William Byron is now locked into the um, playoffs with his win. So, so we go on to this race, and... After what we saw yesterday, I feel really good about this race, so I feel maybe I can get an out top two, but I hope to get one spot better today, and that's maybe a win, but we'll have to see. So without further ado, I'll show you all the settings, and we'll get ready to go racing here at Pocono. This is the second Pocono race. So the settings are same as yesterday, same as always, so you get the deal. Settings are the same. So the points going into our second Pocono race. So I got a good points lead right now. I definitely have those points blocked in the bag. Like I said, I know I keep saying it, but like I said, as long as I have some good races and not have like 9, 10 bad races, I definitely have the points locked down. But we do have 10 different winners. And with the points, Christopher Bell will be in the last playoff spot by 11 points ahead of Ross Chastain. So the playoff gap is close. But we still have nine races left to go, so anything can happen because William Byron won yesterday's race at Pocono, so we could have a new winner maybe. We'll have to see. All right, qualifying results for Pocono race number two. Ryan Blaney is going to be on the pole for this race. He'll be alongside Chase Briscoe in the front row, so not bad up a front row. And that's the rest of the top ten. Ty Dillon rounds up the top ten. Ty Dillon up there again. And there's 11th to 20th. I qualified 11th. I definitely qualified a lot better than yesterday, so... Definitely a good qualifying result I wanted, so I'll definitely take it. Uh, Christopher Bell got 15th. Definitely a lot better than yesterday. William Byron, who won yesterday's race, is starting 17th. I mean, he did start in the back, mid-pack yesterday, so he could maybe get up there. we we'll just have to see, though. Bubba Wallace rounds up the top 20. He is 21st and 30th. Cole Custer, 21st. Ricky Stenhouse rounds up the top 30. And there's 31st on back. Timmy Hill's going to round up the field in last place. All right, here we go. Time to go racing here at Pocono Raceway, the second Pocono race. Uh, no Gregson can close some fast laps. Josh Perle I mean, uh, Corey LaJoy crashed during qualifying, so he's going to the back. And Bubba Wallace had an engine change, so he's going to the back. And I'm going to be starting 11th. Here we go, the second Pocono race this weekend. I'm going to start 11th, but I will get a redemption from yesterday. We'll have to see. And we're off here at the second Pocono race, here at the Tricky Chine Bowl. Contact the Chase Driscoll, I'm glad he kept the car safe. 
But I had to back out of the gas a lot, so I didn't wreck. But yeah, I did say yesterday that I was going to change paint jobs. I did, as you can see, I'm driving the rally car for this race. I ran the signature car yesterday, so I this car today. But another thing I did learn from yesterday's race too is that the AIs like to send it in the tunnel plane. That's one quarter I gotta be aware of. The AIs just tunnel plane and they love to send it for whatever reason. Careful, still there. I'm gonna make a successful pass and chase Frisco. Four. Lion Plane is still off front leading. Mark Tricks in the second, then Hamlin third on four. Chase Bristol rounds up the top five. Three laps to go to stage one. He's up there enough to make it back. It's a little weird though, doing back to back both the race. I haven't done this before in a season. Now we're doing a back to back track. This time we're going to get a close enough. Well, Mark Tricks, you're trying to take the race to the I'm trying to go for third on Hamlin. Oh, boy, no a little contact with me and Hamlin. Mark Tricks, she is going to take the race lead here at Pocono. Took away from Ryan Blaney. I'm still trying to get it on Hamlin for third. I'm a little bit loose. Careful, still there. Okay, I wasn't this loose. Short run to get to the three. Here to go, driver. Still there. Two laps to go. Someone's off pace back. I don't know if that's going to be a caution or not. Looks like they got an engine problem. Left side. Left side to clear. So Bush is trying to make it three wide. That didn't work Looking out. Clear outside. Two get around Hamlin. I don't think he made it pretty well successfully. Yeah, you see how much ground they get on me in the tunnel turn? That's what I'm talking about. I'm sending it. Stay on the bottom. The AI is sending it. I got a good tunnel turn. I'm going to try to take the lead away. Got around Blaney. Can I get around Truex? Clear to the right. Oh, I'm pushing up the track. I got around Truex, but Blaney got to my inside. I can't tell who that was that blew an engine. We're on the final lap of stage Stay one. Right. Trying to take the race lead, but Blaney's not going down without a fight. That went back. extremely high. Yeah, Blaney's got to see the this lead. Get right down the back sideway. I'm not going to go down just a little bit. Got a headline out on your bumper. All clear. See you next time with me. Okay, I gotta chill out. And try to push Stay Kurt Busch to the lead. Good racing in stage one. Stay left. Yeah, Kurt Busch out front leading. Looks like he's gonna get the stage win. But for side by side for second, Kurt Busch is gonna win stage one. And I'm gonna finish second. Yeah, that was a good race at the beginning of the stage. Now we're at the end of stage two. So Kurt Busch wins stage one, I get second, Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Ryan Newman, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, and Austin Dillon. Um, I'm going to make these same adjustments I did yesterday. Do four tires. Let's see, hopefully I can see who blew up the engine. Um, I'll do the car how it is, put the tape down, I won't fix the damage. Let me see who blew up my problems. Wow, that's Ty Dillon. Man, oh man. Every time Ty Dillon is up there hoping to have a good race, something goes wrong for him. Wow, that's unfortunate for Ty Dillon. He's going to be full of That's have not what Ty Dillon needs. All right, stage two underway. I'm going to be the race leader. I'm going to this time around stage two. All clear. Start. Maybe out front. Oh, I'm a little 
little tight in the corner. Yeah, turn one is not my best corner here.
loose. Five to go, we time by. Five to go, the stage. Deja vu from Sonoma, I had to hold off Ryan Newman. He went stage two. Here we go again. Except this time, at Pocono. Kind of like a road course, except Pocono's not a road course, it's a triangle. It may seem like a road course, but it's actually a triangle. That's what they say. I'm gonna take it nice and easy. I don't want to push it. Careful, still there. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. Careful, still there. Clear all around. I'm gonna take third away from Chase Frisco, though. Right side, all clear. I'm gonna take third from now. Alright, final lap on stage right, number. Oh, well, we have a caution. This is the first caution we have in the, um, the stages, but that was definitely a long green flag run. So Ryan Newman is going to win stage two. And then you got Kurt Busch, me, Chase Frisco, Ryan Blaney, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex Jr., Ross Chastain, and Alex Bowman. So that's your top ten for stage two. Um, I'm going to look at the adjustments how it is. I don't want to mess with it. I don't have it like that. Uh, William Byron won yesterday. He's not having a good race right now. So far, only Ty Jones out of this race. I don't know around the road, but he's starting in the back, I noticed. I don't know where he's at. Alright, here, right, here we go. Final right. stage is about to happen. And the green flag is back in the air. Final stage is underway. With 13 laps to go. Which means we're going to be close Stay on the field. Take a free ride going into turn number one. 
got one inside. Nah, I could have sticked the corner. Could have sticked the corner. The right back. I hit the apron and I just didn't stick the corner. That's unfortunate. Car outside. Seven laps to go when we get back green. Um, I'm actually gonna go half again. Watch, I still have fallback spots. Yeah, what the trap, game? I am so sick of this. Oh, have a good day. This is exactly ready. what happened yesterday. Oh my goodness gracious. Why am I the only one that's falling back that fucking spot? Day in a row, this is the fourth. Oh my god. 704, whoever owns the NASCAR game, please fix the pit thing. Please. I should not be falling back at these spots. I even took half a can to find myself fall back at these spots. So what are these guys doing that's causing me to fall back at these spots? That makes sense. Still there. All That's how I lost the race yesterday. I didn't have time to catch the way to fire him. Because I'm too busy trying to get my way back up to the front. Track ball, you're, uh, you're clear. Now you are going to win this race because of this? Jesus, man. It's so Careful. annoying. Still there. Be sure to do it for the next race when I'm, when I'm trying to fight my way back up there as quickly as possible so I can have time this time. All clear. Um, I said to Nashville that we were going to Road America, the center of the Pope for the races. Now next week, I did check the schedule, now we're going to Road America next week. Another road course Thank race coming up. I think this is our, what, fifth road course race of the season? Probably. Yeah, this is our, no, this is our fourth road course race. After the road event, we got Watkins Glen, then we got the road course, and then we got the Charlotte Global. So, uh, road America coming up next. Clear. Last time we had a road course, I won with the Sedona. In fact, I won two out of the three road courses so far. I won at the Daytona Road Course, and I also won at Sedona. And it seems like I tried to get my third road course. So, we 
sure to tip it up at the next race. We're out of Inside. All right, you're clear. Oh, we got a caution. What happened this time? Well, it doesn't tell us what happened. But this is actually, this, this is what I needed. I needed this caution. Oh, maybe I have a chance to get up there. Maybe, I don't know what the caution is for. Maybe someone spun out or something. Have a good day, be ready. ready. Well, actually, I don't know if we've got two laps to go now. Yeah. All right, green flag back here, we have two there laps go. to go. Oh yeah, it's not good enough time. Still there. Man, oh man. We gotta put Wham in this game too. Send him in the freaking back for no reason. Still there. Still out of my way, still out of my way. I don't care if I make a three wide in the funnel for this time. All clear. Alright, here we go again. Somehow I was able to make, make that pass. Alright, me and Ryan Newman. Come here, Newman. I lost yesterday. I'm not losing today. Alright, white flag in the air. Final lap here at Pocono. I had five my way good redemption after yesterday. And I came up short. I'm the inside of Ryan Newman. Stay low. That's how it's happening with a couple of strikes to pass. And I do get around them. Alright, race leader. You're a Pocono. I was just complaining about me dropping to the back. And now I'm back out front, but I have to get to these corners perfectly. My final turn went good. Now I gotta get to this corner perfectly. Final corner, perfect. After coming up short yesterday, I'm not gonna come up short this time. And I'm gonna come up short number three, and I'm going to win your Pocono Raceway, ninth of the season. Yes. Oh, what a good way to get redemption with a win. And that caution is exactly what I needed too. Otherwise, I think Newman would have had the race won. Oh man, I feel bad for Newman because this is the second race that he had the fast. Yeah, this is the second race he had the fastest car, and I just stole it away. And I just moved the motor up. Okay, let's just park it right here then. Okay, I couldn't find one of the cautions, but I found something right here. Looks like some happened with Cole Custom Austin Dillon. Oh, Austin Dillon. And an oh no, it looks like I got a tire going on. He goes around. Oh, and then Cole Custer, nowhere to go. Same with Anthony Alfredo to Benedetto hits him. A lot of damage for that three car. A better camera angle with that. And he just lost it right there. And then, oh, round goes Cole Custer in the grass. Not in Austin Dillon, well, not in Cole Custer. Not in Cole Custer for the gun to avoid that. All right, race results here at Pocono Race Ray, Pocono Race 2. Um, I get the win here at Pocono, so I got redemption from yesterday. I finished second yesterday, and now today I grabbed the win. Was complaining that I fell back spots, but I got a lucky caution, and I was able to take the checkered flag. So, good day today. So, um, I win. Ryan Newman second. He won stage 2. Kurt Busch third. He won stage 1. And then you got Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, Chase Briscoe, Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, and then Alex Bowman. So that's your top 10. And there's 11th on back. You got Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Christopher Bell. A lot better day for Christopher Bell after finishing 32nd yesterday. Joy Logano, William Byron. Disappointing day for William Byron a little bit. Won yesterday, and now this time finishes 16th. So, tough day for Byron today. I don't know what was going on there with that team. And then Tyler Reddick, Eric Amarillo, Cole Custer, and Anthony Alfredo. And there's 21st to 30th. Uh, Kyle Larson, 21st. Uh, Noah Gregson, 25th. Good race for him. And then Chris Bush rounds up the top 30. And there's the rest of the field. Um, 
Austin Dillon, who we seen moments ago, get caught up in the wreck. And he ends up finishing out of the race, finishing 39th. And it's Ty Dillon who was starting out front again, looking like he was going to be fast. Unfortunately, it blows an exit and he finishes dead last. So not the day Ty Dillon wanted right there. And yes, I get my ninth win of the season. So I'm one win away from hitting 10 wins, double digits. So that's pretty good. Um, and looking at the playoff standings here. So now we have eight races left to go until the playoff start. Uh, Christopher Bell is still in that last playoff spot, only by one point ahead of Ross Chastain, though, so that is still pretty close. Alex Bowman got a good point today today. He jumps up to 19th, definitely needed that. Uh, Bowman definitely needs some points if he wants to have a shot at the playoffs, but we still have three races to go. We still got plenty of time, but we got to pick up the pace, though, because time is ticking. And there I am at victory lane for the ninth time this season, and it comes here at Pocono Raceway. Redemption. Yes. And it's also a Hendrick Sweet too because William Byron won yesterday's race and I win the race. So winner at Pocono. Awesome. Alright, winner at Pocono. Not too bad. Call it the tricky triangle for a reason. Wasn't tricky for me. I got the win. Oh, I got an achievement. You guys can't see that, but I got an achievement. Get smoked. I'll have to check that after the after I get done filming. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed those two Pocono races. Um, a lot different video this week because normally I just post one video and then we move on to the next race. But this time we went back-to-back -back races. Uh, definitely a lot of fun doing the back-to-back -back races. I have to, hopefully we can do some of these more often. Um, maybe I'll have to make that up in NASCAR 21 too. We'll see, though, if it comes out on PS4. I might do back-to-back -back races, but we'll see. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, next race is going to be at Road America for... I can't remember the running, and it's only going to be 13 laps, but it is a big track. Um, I may or may not bump up the, um, hold on, let me see. I have it at 25%. What if it, what is it like on 50%? I just want to see. It's going to be 25 laps. Um, we'll have to see, maybe, um, because it's, it's 13 laps, it's a big track, but it's going to be a little bit short. So, maybe or maybe not, I'll bump it up. I'll have to see. Um, I'll think about that. But, um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll think about that, um, and I'll debate if I want to do it or not. But let me know in the comments, too. Should I go up to 50% race length because of this short race, or should I just stick it at 25% and we'll go 13 laps? Just let me know. Um, and I feel this race will probably be up on a Saturday, so you guys will definitely have time to vote. Just leave a comment below and... Tell me what you want to see. Do you want to see at 50% or do you want me to stay at 25%? But anyway, um, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And also, turn on post notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video or when I go live. Um, join the Discord if you want. Link will be down below. And also, follow me on TikTok too. I just got access to 3-minute videos. So, I'm definitely going to have a lot of videos coming at you on TikTok. So, if you want to see those... All I got to do is click that link below in the description, follow me on TikTok, and yeah, have some fun adventures over there on TikTok, but I post WWE content, um, NASCAR, NFL, NBA, whatever on TikTok. So ladies and gentlemen, um, so with that being said, I will see you all next race when we go to Road America for our fourth road course race of the season. So I'll see you all next race at Road America. Bye-bye.